Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Dexter's Lab 2013. In this video I want to begin framing up a compute node from a supercomputer we recently acquired and then scrapped. The particular machine in question was a Silicon Graphics Altix 4700, um, dated from about 2008 and it consisted of two 19 inch racks containing around 64 of these compute nodes and about one terabyte of RAM. Uh, now, Carl's Tech Shed did a video of this recently, uh, which I will link to in one of those silly card things uh, that appears at the top corner of the video up there somewhere. Uh, I wanted to save a couple of the compute nodes as I wanted to frame one of them properly rather than just making a uh, dull PCB wall out of it. In the Altix, there was two types of these uh, compute nodes. I think one was just a later revision. Um, each node has two Intel Itanium 9140 CPUs, which are dual core 1.6 gigahertz, uh, with an impressive 18 megabytes of cache and a TDP of 104 watts each. Uh, RAM was either 12 or 16 gigabytes per node. Uh, this is one of the earlier nodes, which still has the uh, copper heat sinks and the mounting frame attached to it. Um, this slid into the chassis and we've got uh, a metal vent on the front there. This is the one that I will be framing. I've already removed the plastic frame from around the outside just to make it look a bit nicer. And I have also removed the heat sinks as well just to reduce the weight a little bit. So on here you can see the two Itanium CPUs. Um, they have two uh, voltage regulation modules which is uh, just underneath these heat sinks here, uh, connected through with these um, rather large power cables. There is also a custom ASIC by SGI. Uh, this is probably acting as a bridge between the RAM, the CPUs, and the NumaLink 4 connections, uh, otherwise known as Craylink, uh, which connected all of the nodes together. And we also have some local voltage regulation here as well. Uh, uh, the power supplies that were in the system only supplied um, 5 volts and 12, so there'll be all sorts of local voltage regulation going on on all of the compute nodes. Um, there isn't much on the back. Um, it does look very, very nice, but there's not much here. Uh, there is an Altera Max 2 uh, FPGA, and that's about it. There's a couple of um, oscillators there. Um, that is about it. I have framed stuff like this before. Some of you might remember the EMC SAN processor that I tore down a while ago. Uh, I saved one of the uh, processor uh, boards out of it, and I had it framed like this. Um, so uh, that uh, is simply bolted to a hardboard frame and then mounted in a nice frame. So that does look really quite impressive and uh, I'll be doing a similar thing with this uh, SGI board as well. So I have here um, a piece of uh, hardboard. This has already been pre-cut to size for me. Um, the border is going to be about 40 millimeters around the edge of the PCB. Uh, that will form the main backing and then on top of that we have a piece of black card uh, which will just lay over the front and then this will then mount up there and then the whole thing can be set into the proper frame. Now what I'm doing is simply reusing the mounting holes that are already in the PCB. Um, I've marked out these already on my uh, piece of card. Um, I've marked them on the back and I will be drilling some uh, small holes in these so I can pass some um, three millimeter nuts and bolts through to actually be able to secure it onto the two pieces of board. Right, that's the uh, um, eight holes drilled out. Uh, you might have noticed that I used uh, something nice and hard on the back. Um, that means when you uh, drill through from this direction, you get some really nice clean um, holes here without any uh, fluffiness or anything on it. Uh, I also drilled out two um, holes in the corners first, and put one of the uh, bolts through um, just to make sure everything stays lined up while I drill 
the other ones. Uh, so that means I can now remove these two bolts that I put in here. And we have uh, all the eight holes in the board um, lining up perfectly with the holes in the back and uh, no damage at all to the uh, front face. Okay, so I've just mounted the black background onto the board. I have the screws going through to the other side. So I'm just gonna place some uh, small washers and then a nut on these. Um, this will um, help to support the board on the actual uh, hardboard and it will also provide a little bit of standoff uh, from the board, the, the backing of the board uh, to the PCB. So. And now hopefully we can mount the uh, PCB on the board. And these nuts on the top are standard nylock. Right, there we go, it's all framed up uh, and clean and ready to take to my uh, framing guy who will make up the uh, wooden frame that goes around the outside and the glass on the front. Awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.